a donkey. <laughs> it's time for Donkey of the Day. Donkey of the Day does not discriminate. I might not have the song of the day, but I got the donkey of the day. So if you ever feel I need to be a donkey, <laughs> man, hit it with the heat. Yeah, it's a breakfast club, bitches. Who's Donkey of the Day today? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, donkey of the Day for Tuesday, August 29th goes to fame pastor of Lakewood Mega Church in Houston, Joel Osteen. I was just listening to Joel Osteen on Oprah Winfrey's Super Soul podcast. Uh, one of my top three favorite podcasts at the moment, by the way. Joel Osteen's episode is titled The Two Powerful Words That Can Change Your Life. Learn how to manifest the life you want with two simple words. Pastor Joel Osteen discussed with Queen Oprah the power behind the words we speak and how each of us can make a difference. Now, Joel Osteen is facing criticism on social media because of his words and because he has closed the doors to those in need of shelter in Houston. Now, I'm seeing so many conflicting reports on this, but to me, it all comes down to Joel Osteen's words. First, Joel tweeted out, Victoria and I are praying for everyone affected by Hurricane Harvey. Please join us as we pray for the safety of our Texas friends and family. Nothing wrong with that. I love prayer, okay? I pray for myself and people I care for several times a day, but understand that faith without works is dead. Prayer is great, but as the scripture says, James 2, 15, 16, if a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to them, depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? That's what people are asking of Joel Osteen in Houston. He gave up prayers, but when it comes time to providing shelter for the people of Houston and Lakewood Church, Joel gave up nothing but excuses. Now, Lakewood Church was getting flooded with requests, no pun intended, but in response to the request, they posted a statement on Facebook saying that it is inaccessible due to severe flooding and then directed displaced residents to nearby Houston shelters. So basically, people were calling them, asking them, can they open up their doors and be a place of refuge for people in need? And they said that their church was inaccessible due to severe flooding and then directed displaced residents to nearby Houston shelters. Now, Lakewood Church holds 16,000 people. If they indeed have severe flooding, then I understand them not being able to house people. But here's the thing. People are saying the church didn't have severe flooding. And Joel Osteen's words after this statement kind of confirmed that because Joel said in a statement on Monday evening, evening, he and his church are prepared to house people once shelters reach capacity. Which is it? Is the church flooded? Or are you prepared to house people once shelters reach capacity? Now here's the thing. That statement bothers me because it shouldn't matter what other shelters are doing. Right. Don't wait until they reach capacity and then say, okay, well, since there's nowhere else for y'all to go, you can come here now. You are the church, one of the pillars in the community, okay? They place, the place people go to seek spiritual refuge every mm -hmm. week. So you should be the first to open your doors for the community, okay? Imagine if all those people who tithe and offer in your church said, you know what? We're going to wait until the collection plate reaches capacity before we give our tithes and offerings. You wouldn't want that, would you? You don't want people to wait to give up their hard-earned money to keep the church thriving, so don't make people wait to get shelter. Now, as of last night, Lakewood Church reportedly is prepared to open their doors due to the pressure from social media because they have bought countless air mattresses. But my thing is this. Why did the church have to be pressured to do the right thing? Joel Osteen, words matter, right? Your statement that the church is here to provide refuge once other shelters are filled is a slap in the face to the people of Houston and especially members of your congregation. The church is supposed to be a refuge for God's people who are struggling. But don't just embrace me when I'm struggling spiritually. Embrace me when I'm struggling due to natural disasters like Hurricane Harvey. I propose that people in Houston should start treating Lakewood Church as a last resort. Give Lakewood Church the same energy they gave you in your time of need. People of Houston should only attend Lakewood Church if all the other churches in Houston are at capacity on Sunday. When all the other churches in Houston hit capacity, then that's when people should go to Lakewood Church. That would really hurt business, wouldn't it, Mr. Holstein? And if indeed that does happen, Mr. Holstein, you earned it because Galatians 6, 7 says, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Please give Joel Osteen the smooth sounds and the Hamiltons, please. You are the donkey of the day. You are the donkey of the day. All right. Well, let's see some action, Lakewood Church. All right. Okay. Well, let's, 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 let's see some action. Let's open up those doors. You got those air mattresses. You should be starting to let people in at any moment. Because mm -hmm. if not, like I said, I feel like people in Houston should start treating Lakewood Church as a last resort. Wait until all the other churches in Houston are at capacity on Sunday, and then you go to Lakewood.